Hey, John Grubal, Mantrain.com. See, the problem is with the society today, with all the social media, most people don't live through their own experiences. What they live through are the experiences of others, from YouTube, from what they see on social media, because there's so much out there that you can see. At one time, the baddest guy in your fucking town was the baddest guy in your fucking town, okay? You, could, you didn't know what was going on in other fucking towns, okay? But now you can see what's going on across the world. And it's just like kind of like playing football. You know, you played with the best fucking guys in your neighborhood, okay? And you guys thought you were the fucking best, and you were in that neighborhood, okay? But these are your experiences, okay? Today, everybody, when they, when they, when they want to compare, they compare other things that they see, not that they actually do, okay? Um... Kind of like jujitsu, all right? Before the Gracies took over the UFC in the beginning, uh, fucking it was ever it was rarely ever heard of. I had an uncle who was in who was in the Korean War who took jujitsu, okay, which was a form of judo, okay. Because I remember he used to always say he was going to give me some flips, judo flips, and jujitsu flips and shit like that, okay. They were taught that, uh, I guess, in the army during the Korean War, whatever. But. When I was growing up and lived in these these tough towns or whatever, um, the toughest guys I fucking always heard of they were Peggy Motorcycle Gang. Um, there was a couple guys they were well known um, martial artists, and back then martial arts, you know, some of them guys were fucking pretty tough. I mean, taking punches in necks and you know kicking in the balls and you know letting you let, you know you got to have some kind of fucking craziness to do that. And like I said, growing up blue collar. There was fucking rough and tumble fucking matches all the time. There was fist fights. There was fucking competitions. Okay? Most people today don't live that life. That's why they wear another man's jersey on their fucking back. That's why they don't get out and play a fucking sport. Okay? Now everybody's out there taking jujitsu and lifting weights. And the average man is, light, is, is weaker than they ever been. And the guy out there is taking jujitsu. Couldn't take a fucking guy 30 years ago who was just fucking, you know, a rough and tumble dude out in the fucking street. Um, you know, like I said... You don't believe whatever you fucking want. It doesn't make a difference. You will get older, and if you fucking pay attention, you'll see what I'm talking about as time goes on later.